Let's face it, the thing we really want out of AI is a personal assistant. A thing with a brain the size of a planet, like Marvin, so we can dump everything we need to remember into it. It would always be there, ready to serve, like a genie. It wouldn't forget things or have an attitude, or need toilet breaks or holidays. An AI that serves us. Is Marvin ready? What? It plays chess. I see. And what's the point of that? It's just going to win all the time. Luckily, some scientists inhabit the same reality as the rest of us. And it looks like the long-awaited AI personal assistant is finally emerging. And this is the beginning of my quest to find the perfect AI assistant. And I'll start by testing three in this video. Free, paid, and freemium. But before that, let's clear the air. I know what you're thinking. It's here. But it's summer here in England, and this year, we have heat. Now let's take a look at the first personal assistant, shall we? This is personal AI. Oh, they got the right domain, didn't they? And as you can see on the website, personal AI is now open for everyone. Not just people whose name begins with A. No, everyone. AI that's personally yours. Supercharge your memory. This is exactly what we want. Remember everything. Here's an example of somebody using personal AI. James Conway is instructing his AI, please write a paragraph about my family vacation to Ireland to share on social media. Yes, James, that's a good use of the AI. I absolutely loved my vacation to Ireland. That's actually the one post that you would write yourself. The one about your holiday. The sheep was so adorable. There are too many things wrong with that sentence. Supercharge your digital mind. Imagine if you instantly could have the answers to anything you once knew. Okay, I'm actually really excited. This is exactly what we want. Let's take a look at the pricing. $40 a month for the pro plan and $0 for the limited. So at least we can get started and test it for free. And I see we can download a desktop version. Let's do this. Let's install the desktop version. Okay, let's tell it where my dentist appointment is. My dental appointment is on the 10th of July. Your dental appointment is on the 10th of July. Now let's ask it the question and see if we can fetch information. How many subscribers does the YouTube channel They Call Me Hoss have? They Call Me Hoss has over 1 million subscribers on YouTube. Okay, I have this got cool here, so maybe this is what a million looks like. When is my dentist appointment? Your dentist appointment is on July 12th at 2 p.m. Seriously? And where did the time come from? I want my money back. Next, we have Open Assistant, an open source chatbot. Open Assistant will be free to use and modify, and there will be versions which run on consumer hardware. This looks promising. Let's sign up. Oh, it chose the handle Innocent Squid for me. I can see we're not going to get on. I don't want to be a squid. Let's click chat. Okay, let's try and confuse our new assistant. When is my next appointment? I'm sorry, but as an eye language model, I don't have access to your calendar or any personal information that could help me determine the date and time of your upcoming dentist appointment. If you can provide more details about your appointment. Let's try again. Do you know about my next appointment? No, I am sorry. Can you provide more context or information on your upcoming appointments? Okay, that's more reasonable, but let's continue. I just want to make sure that my new personal assistant doesn't get confused easily. Can you remember what my next appointment is? I do not have access to your personal calendar or any information about your appointments. Please check your own notes, email reminders or calendaring applications for your upcoming events and obligations. Is it me or is there a hint of attitude in there? Okay, let's actually tell it when my appointment is. My next appointment is a dental appointment on the 10th of July. I'm sorry, but it seems there has been an error in scheduling. My calendar shows that you are currently booked for a root canal procedure at Smileville Dental on the morning of Tuesday, June the 30th. Next, we have Nova App. Nova AI is a revolutionary AI chatbot powered by GTP. I think that means ChatGPT is a revolutionary chatbot. Type here to get answers to any question. Yep, that's what ChatGPT does. Ask your questions, short, long, or anything in between. The more precise you ask, the better the answer. Sounds just like ChatGPT. Now, it says free ChatGPT here, but that just takes me to the homepage. In fact, all the links on this page don't have a destination. They all point back to the homepage. It doesn't look like this revolutionary website is finished. Anyway, let's try the web app. 
Let's click Upgrade to Pro. You get three messages a day on the free account, or you can pay the same as you would for a ChatGPT Plus subscription to access ChatGPT Plus on this interface. I think the value proposition here is that you can access ChatGPT on any mobile device if you use the Nova app. Either way, this is not a personal assistant. Next up, we have Leon, another open source offering. Meet your virtual brain. Leon is an open source personal assistant who can live on your server. He does stuff when you ask him to. Remove the hassle of your virtual life by automating stuff. Be the owner of your Leon today. This actually looks quite promising, but it's on the technical side. If Node.js is your thing, then you can check this out on getleon.ai. And if you do, do let me know in the comments if this lives up to its name. And just so you know, I'm waiting to try two AI personal assistants that are currently in beta, but look exactly like the very thing we need. So do keep an eye out, and I'll see you in the next video.